Hi friends, in previous tutorial we have used an excel file to create a data frame and from the data frame we have searched by using multiple words, say these two words I have used and the combination of or combination of these two words are searched and the data output is displayed in this tree view. Now we will learn how we will save the result, say I unclick of this button, I get the file dialog, I can save it in excel file or in csv file format or I can cancel it or even I can copy this also to the, my clipboard. So this is this output is copied to my clipboard so I can paste it wherever I want in my editor or anything and also this number of records found each time this uh, uh, filter is changed the number of records found is display. We'll add all these features. We'll start from here this is where we left in our previous tutorial where we have uh, taken the multiple word search. The width of the window, whatever we are using, we'll change it to 620. Slightly we are increasing because we want to add uh, two buttons. So for that space, we are using this. And let's add the buttons here. So E1, after right of this entry box, where the user enters it, we'll add the our button B1 equal to TK dot button. Now my parent window is my underscore W now text what we should write on the bot bottom, let's say save result here you can write whatever text you want. Now BG I am just making it a, it a different so I am giving light green. You want whatever color you want you can add it. Uh, then I am giving slightly higher size font, font is 18 on the text whatever I will be writing. Now the important part is, sorry I have to miss, should not miss a comma here, command. So what will happen when the button is clicked? So command equal to lambda here my save. My save is the function which will be triggered once the button is clicked. So far we have not written it. Let's write it here. So we'll come down after this key release. Here it is. So here we'll write the defined our function my save. Now inside this, okay, let's just pass it. Let's see how our layout looks. I just saved it and let's, uh, whatever the rows and all I have not given. Yeah, here it is. I have to place it on our, my grid it first. So otherwise it won't be displayed. Now here I am saying b grid row. What should be row equal to one? The same row we are continuing at the right of it. So column equal to three because column two is our entry box. So column three. Now I am slightly giving a padex of two. I am not flushing with the left edge. So that's all. Now let's just see how this looks. Though it there will not. Yeah, here it is the save result. Even if whatever uh, I give it the save result, I can click that and now nothing will happen. To show the browse and save that window, we have to import it. So from tick enter import file dialog. So this I am importing because I want to show the file dialog here. So let's come down again, come to inside this function we are, this will remove this pass. Now what first we will do is global because we want to collect the df2 or our data frame 2 whatever because it's once the user changes such criteria you will get a different filter so that i am able to access is because this data frame i should get it so it's global variable i have used it now i'll say file path now this variable file path i will get it from the file dialog so whatever file dialog i am use opening now file dialog now open ask ask open uh, as save as file name I will use as save as file name because this just gives me the path so <clears throat> inside that certain options I will give now to make it easy I am just using one type only file types file types here I am saying let me just give a option of one tuple I have to create inside this I have to excel file so I am saying excel file this is what the text will be displayed then what should be the extension of it dot xlsx so this is the excel file i have given now what i am going to do is uh, file type i have given now here 
put a comma now i'll say default extension what should be by default why i'm giving one and why again default is because other options also will explore so that time we need a default extension so by default it is optional also so default extension equal to now we are saying dot x l s x because next will also give the option so comma separated value in that format also user can say, save it so for that what should be the default one if non user has not selected anything by default what should be it should prompt so that's what file uh, path now what happens if file path why it is i am using it suppose the user has clicked the cancel button then it will give a error message so if file path is not null though for that purpose i am using it is if it is true file path then okay this is not bracket is not required i will remove this if file path then what happens is now here is the one where i will be saving it so i am saying df2 this is my resultant data frame not the source data frame so whatever after the search now there is a function to excel this is simple to excel that's all now i will say file where it should save file path this is what the user has uh, after browsing where it has pointed to the lo location and i am saying index equal to false now note that this data frames any data frame pandas data frame i can export it to different different format to excel to csv to html to uh, our tab separated ts2 tsv like there some around i think seven or eight types of different different functions are available so the data frame can be exported directly to that so one of that is to excel i am using we'll also use to csv and similarly to clipboard also we can use it so once i give that that's all so this my file will be saved as a excel file so here i am giving one option only now let's just run this and check how this looks here it is so i am giving say j o a l all this whatever you want you can see save result now once i click the save result i am presented with this file dialog this file dialog is all already because it points to because i have used it you can browse to other locations as you may be knowing other location and point to that see that it is giving me excel file it is not giving me any other option right now so i will just say because something i have already saved filter 3 i can overwrite also filter 3 now i will save it it saved now let's just change this a bit and add one csv option comma separated value this is a text like a text file it's uh, all the uh, data's uh, elements or columns are separated by comma that uh, that will add that option for saving here inside the file type let me add one more tuple telling about uh, by, by csv file or comma separated value file so i am saying what should be the uh, message available to the user is csv file now what should be the extension of it dot csv so this is one more tuple so now i will have a drop down with these two choice given but then how i will because there are specific functions to excel to csv now how i will know that Uh, what the user has selected now once the file path is there then one more if condition i am using if file path dot because it's a string so ends with if the it is ends with i am saying dot csv now if it is dot csv then in that case df2 dot use to csv to cs this is a, again a another pandas function are available which will convert it into to csv file so directly i am using file path now index equal to false don't use the index so fine now else if this is the if condition then i am giving a else condition and here i am placing my previously whatever i have written to excel now what happens say if it is a extension is csv that means the user has selected it as a csv then it will save as csv otherwise it is a excel file now you may ask why other extensions also you can just extend it if file extension ends with dot tsv or dot html for html and all your two csv two excel two html all are there so you can just keep on extending for other file formats whatever you want now let's just save this and run once and see 
here it is i am giving a b okay one record only matches a b now the save result here you can see i have a excel and a csv also so i'll pick up say i'm picking up csv now i will say i'll write the filter uh, 4 dot csv so this will be saved as filter 4 dot csv so this is how now let's just give another button here below that which on click will save it to the our clipboard to display the messages let me add two more labels here so i will just go it is under next row means it is above the tree view below the first row so here i am adding two more rows of label here so you can see l2 and row is 2 row 1 is at the top where the user enters and our tree view is below that so we'll say that tree view is row 3 here we'll change this to row 3 so above that we are adding two more and the bottom whatever we saw the we discussed that will copy that uh, to clipboard that bottom i am giving so i am giving the name as b2 dot b2 equal to tk dot bottom now here my parent window is my underscore w now text text is i can write it let me write just copy because it is actually the copy to clipboard so uh, let me just give the bz equal to light blue then that's all but what should happen when that is let me first place it on a grid so b2 dot grid row equal to again row equal to 2 and column is equal to 3 now that's all pad x equal to let me give some pad x also so that's all let's just see how this looks here it is okay it will not be because okay my previous window is open let me close this and uh, it will not open now because i uh, yeah it is open here is the copy button i think slightly font will increase let's make it font equal to here font equal to 18 and if the most important is what it will do command equal to lambda so once the button is clicked it will call the function my copy so this function we have not yet defined so let's go down we have placed it on a grid let's come down here we'll here we'll write it our function here sorry this should be here now define my copy so this function will be called once you click the button copy now inside this function what i have to do is df2 just one word only to clipboard because like to excel to csv there is one more export option to clipboard that's all but this will copy it now one thing once it is copied it is better we will give a message that saying that it is copied or over and that message also should not last for long it should vanish after some time delay of one to on one or two second now for that reason we have level three we have created at the top l3 you, you can see here here at the top we have l2 l3 we have added just now so that uh, one of that i am using l3 now l3 is config now text what is text i am writing is copied or whatever you want to write it copy to clipboard anything whatever you want that should be the config option any of the by using config or configure i can change any of the option of the wizard whatever i am using it height width everything so that's why i am used config the text option i have changed it to copy it now this message also i want to delete it after three seconds so l3 after what will happen 3000 means 3000 millisecond or that is same as three second lambda l sorry here it is l3 dot config now i am saying text equal to blanks that's all now i am removing that text after copying but how i will know that this is copied or not we'll try to paste it below this it's just any editor you can open it your notepad also now let me just save this and run once here it is so i will say 
let me l j o okay whatever it is now what one mistake i did i think here sorry the tree view the val the row command i have not increased to 3 here where is my true view yeah true the row should be third because one more row we have added i think we have changed that already so more it has row 3 so row 2 is all these buttons and also tree view is below that i am saving that again running it so aljo okay so now you can see here all this is copied now let me just click this here you see copied here it is written it will for three after three seconds yeah it has gone now let me close this come back here here whatever in your editor also i am pasting it the entire whatever the resultant data frame is copied to the clickboard you can take it to notepad or whatever other applications you are using you will do that that will also paste it there will display one more message the number of records found in the filter so here you can see here we have a l2 here so l2 is another uh, label we have displayed so there are some messages we can display so let's come down here where is our duplicate records yeah after this once the duplicates are removed that is our final <clears throat> number of our final data frame which you are go, uh, presenting to the user there will write one uh, will it show the number of records so for that l2 config again the configure or config any of the option we can change it now text what text do you want to display number of records so this let's give a colon now slightly gap i am giving now plus this is a string addition so any a lane function will remove the number uh, will give us the number of rows found so df2 now that's <clears throat> this is gives us the len df2 that but this is a integer so we cannot directly add it to a string so for that we will say str will convert the uh, integer into a string so here you can see len df2 will give see 3 4 5 like that any integer then i am by using str i am converting into a string then adding to this and that i am displaying it as records so what happened here fine l2 config uh, where it is l2 config now that should be one more bracket to close it okay so let's just save this and run once and see okay what's this this line this green sp spot here or al so number of records is two so here you can see now i am adding few more jo now number of records is seven okay the based on the what are the result and our data frame or df2 what you are getting it that result based on that it is displaying it here now okay we'll see up to this then suppose i want whatever the result and data frame or at the after filtering whatever i am getting it here say i want to select this this is these are i am selecting now once i select this then that particular detail should be available at here even i can delete this particular suppose i don't want this to be there in my final data frame i can even delete that also and or i can edit that also edit and save it also that part based on because it's a tree view we can pick up the unique id of the row and display it here that's all friends i request you please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so you'll be notified as and when we add new new tutorials we frequently do that also and if you have any doubts suggestion questions use the comment section below to post it please share this with your friends and thank you for watching